What up, Fight Fans? Main Man, Made Man, back at it again. And y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Okay, look. I understand there's a lot to talk about in the sport of boxing as of today. There's a lot going on in boxing that we can sit here and talk about, ladies and gentlemen. But I have to go back to something that uh, I've been kind of thinking about lately. I've evolved on something. I, um, if you go back to my post-fight interview of the Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather fight, I clearly said I did not want to see a rematch. The fight did not condone a rematch. I clearly stated that Floyd Mayweather won that fight very decisively, I thought, in which he did. Now, I've, since then, I've went back and watched the fight roughly about, I don't know, five, six times possibly, you know, um... And I think I've evolved on something, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to give my reasons for such. And I'm pretty sure some will agree and maybe some will disagree. But uh, I think I do want to see a Manny Pacquiao-Floyd Mayweather rematch. I think I do. There's been a, a couple different factors that made me want to change my mind on this issue, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason being, the number one reason being, the landscape of today's boxing. Uh, just being, you know, let's just face reality here. Floyd Mayweather's list is extremely short, ladies and gentlemen. It's extremely short. There's possibly no one even left that we really, really are crying to see him fight. Now, we know the people that we really would, wouldn't mind to see Floyd Mayweather fight, like, you know, your Keith Thurmans and your Kell Brooks and, and so on and so forth. And if anybody put anything in my comment section about Floyd Mayweather versus Triple G, I'm telling you, man, you're going to get a mouthful from me. Stop talking about Triple G versus Floyd Mayweather, people. All right? It's a fight that's not going to happen. It's a fucking fantasy fight. Floyd barely makes 147. You want him to fight a 160-pound fighter. That's just being desperate, man. We're just being too desperate for the man to lose. People are actually seriously wanting to see this man fight Gennady Golovkin. All right? Anyway. But uh, the kid, the dude's list is short, man. The dude's list is extremely short. Uh, no one wants to see him fight anybody from the 140-pound division. Uh, there isn't really many names at 154. We want to really see him fight. Uh, the lower fight, I think, would just be a snooze fest. Um, of course, we want to see, like I said, we want to see him fight Thurman or Brook. I don't see Floyd Mayweather anxious to make either one of those fights. Those are high, highly risky fights for him. Um, there's talk of Danny Garcia. Don't want to see that shit. The man has never even fought at 147. Um, don't want to see him fight really no one else at welterweight other than Thurman and Brook. Some say Khan, maybe Khan. But I'm not cringing for those. F I mean, those are not realistic fights from what I'm seeing. For the way Floyd Mayweather and we know how he chooses his opponents, the Cotto fight is off the table, ladies and gentlemen. Cotto's aligned with Rock Nation. Jay Z and Al Heyman has a thing. They don't get along, so that fight is off the table. Who else we're gonna see Floyd fight? He's not fighting Thurman. He's not going to fight Brooke. Khan, I don't think, deserves it. I've, I've done a video about that. He hasn't done nearly enough at welterweight to earn a shot at the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter. Besides, Thurman and uh, Brooke has done more at welterweight than Khan has. With Kell Brook being a world champion, IBF world champion, defeating a welterweight world champion. With Keith Thurman being Floyd's mandatory for the longest, holding the... Some version of the WBA belt that Floyd holds, but he's next in line. He's been next in line to fight Floyd for since the longest. So those two deserve it. Khan has done. He's beaten Colazzo, Diaz, and Devin Alexander. Not nearly three top tier fighters at welterweight. Now Devin Alexander is a respectable name. Granted, he's a very respectable name, but he uh, at this point in his career he has a few losses. He's already been beaten a few times, a couple times. So, you know, what Khan has done at welterweight doesn't nearly compare to what Thurman and Brooke has done at welterweight. So, to me, he doesn't deserve the fight. Though I have stamped it and said I wouldn't mind seeing it because stylistically, I think it's interesting to see if Mayweather can handle a young, speedier fighter. But, you know, after the Algeria showing, oh, and then not to mention Khan still has unfinished business at 140. He lost to Danny Garcia, ladies and gentlemen. Danny, if Danny Garcia is coming up to 147, I would think Khan will be trying to get that fight. 
He lost to Lamont Peterson at 140, ladies and gentlemen. He didn't dominate that division. So, with all that being said, given that Floyd's list is so short, there's not no one respectable uh, that Floyd will step to, uh, at least the people we want to see him fight. And he's going to end up taking some bullshit fight, of course, in his 49th fight. Uh, it's the 49th fight. He's, this is the last fight that he's contractually obligated to fight. I don't know if it's going to happen in September. I don't know if it's going to happen in May. I don't know. Most say September. We know Pacquiao is going to be out for at least nine months, so that's out for Pacquiao to fight him in September. So, maybe Floyd should honestly sit September out. They're looking to make the Canelo, they could possibly make the Canelo Cotto fight around that month. He's going to be competing with that fight. I don't know if he made enough money in his last fight where, honestly, the next fight is not a big thing about money. I don't know. He made a lot of money in that Pacquiao fight. More money than he's ever made in any fight. So maybe he's set on finances. I don't know. But this is Floyd Money Mayweather we're talking about here. So uh, I don't see him being able to pick off an opponent that can top the Canelo Cotto fight. But Manny Pacquiao. I just don't see it. Unless he peels off Canelo, which is a possibility. I don't think Canelo will have a problem with rematching Floyd at this point in his career. Um, but Canelo is not fighting at 54 no more. I mean, he's fighting at catch weights above 154. But once again, and, and Floyd is not going to fight him at a full 154. He'll probably fight him like he did the last time at a catch weight of, say, like 152. That will kill Canelo at this point. So, if I don't even know if Canelo will take, maybe for the payday, I don't know. But that's the only way that I can see Floyd blunting the momentum of a Canelo Cotto fight. It, it, he, he plucks off Canelo. Or he brings back Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao won't be ready for September. So, there you have it. That's the reason. Now, Manny Pacquiao, though he did lose convincingly to Floyd Mayweather, I'm not disputing that. I'm not one of those dudes who's going to sit back and say, oh, Manny Pacquiao won the fight. No, he did not win that fight. There's no doubt about it. He did not win that fight. But yet, Floyd Mayweather did not look impressive in that fight neither, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the copy box numbers. Floyd Mayweather didn't give Manny the beating of his life and shit. Does the fight re condone a rematch, ladies and gentlemen? The way the fight went? No, it was totally one-sided. Floyd won a lot of rounds in that fight. But yet, Floyd did no damage to Manny. He fought it in an amateur style, whereas he was just looking to score points with the jab. Uh, he, his connection percentage was extremely low in that fight. So, you know... I don't know, man. I just think that... I don't know, man. Before I see Floyd fight anyone else, any other Yahoo or any other built-up fighter, uh, I'd just rather see the Pacquiao rematch. Let, let Pacquiao get another shot. This fight has been too long and it was too long in the making. Um, those are the, like, I don't know, uh, circumstances in which you can look at this fight to, to condone the rematch. That makes this fight different than most fights. This fight has been built up for so long. These are the two most accomplished boxers at the welterweight division for the past decade or so. Um, it just I'm not buying the Pacquiao shoulder shit, ladies and gentlemen. All right? I'm not buying that one bit. I think technically if they wanted to fight in September, they could do it. Um, but I don't know. I just don't. I mean, given the landscape of today's boxing and the options that realistically sits in front of Floyd Mayweather... I'd just rather see the Pacquiao rematch. I don't know if you want to do it for the 49th or 50th. Like I said, I'm pretty sure for that 49th, he'll take some soft fight. Uh, maybe for that 50th fight in which he can come back and possibly break the Rocky Marciano record, where Floyd is not contractually obligated to fight that fight, so he will really be setting the terms of that fight. Uh, he will be bidding that fight out to the networks. He will be bidding that fight out to the promote. You know, of course, he'll promote it through Mayweather Promotions, but... Um, I don't know, that fight, just it'll, it'll make so much money for him in his 50th fight. So I just think it makes sense. It makes sense for Floyd. It makes sense for Manny. I think after that fight, Manny should definitely retire. It makes sense for both fighters. It makes sense for the sport. And most importantly, we don't want to see Floyd fight any other person if their name is not Kel Brook, uh, Keith Thurman, and maybe Amir Khan. Maybe. And I say that very, very grudgingly. But that's it. So if you're not going to fight those three guys, it has to be Pacquiao. It just has to be Pacquiao. I don't want to see Garcia. Garcia is not ready. 
Garcia still has unfinished business. All right, Garcia is not even a full-fledged welterweight yet. He hasn't even fought a full-fledged welterweight yet. Yet we want to put him in there with the pinnacle. And I don't want to see this shit. So fuck it. Just bring Pacquiao back. Rehab the man. Do whatever the fuck he got to do. Bring Pacquiao back. Give us a better event. Don't charge a hundred bucks for the fucking fight. All right. Don't make it a hedge fund fight. Okay. The hedge fund managers had to, they all, you know, had to enjoy it the first fight. Give it to the fans, man. Just give it to the fans. Rematch Pacquiao. You know, no excuses. You know, that's all I want to see. I'm sorry. If anybody can come up with a better idea, please tell me. But until the next video, with your main man, made man. I see y'all then. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, folks, don't think that I don't. I would like to see Mayweather fight a lot of other people, such as your Demetrius Andres or, you know, guys of that nature. But he won't do it. We got to line up an opponent according to the Mayweather and how Al Heyman way, who's popular, who can bring a crowd, who, who can he build up to sell. These type of questions you got to ask yourself. So that's reason I say this. But until the next video, it's your main man, main man. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget I'm on Twitter at MadeMan511. And don't forget I'm on Facebook at Main Man Made Man. Peace out.